Hello, dear ones. It's, a, it's Alice. I am of the stars, and I have here some verses for you from John chapter 4, um, verses 16 to 21. I like them because they explain, uh, uh, they give us a tool for getting through these days of the last judgment. Okay, and and especially right now during the fall equinox, uh, 2015, or any equinox, it's it's good because there's a lot of energy coming in, and uh, I'll show you I'll show you why it's good. Just a second. Here goes. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Okay, so what's happening here? He's the, In the first sentence, Christ is saying that we know and believe the love that God hath to us. Okay, so these words are important. We, Especially the believe. We, we believe that God loves us. Okay, now this may seem self-evident. To many of you, but in the big cities and sometimes in the small towns across the world, there are people that don't know this, right? They believe the headlines that they read in the newspapers and they don't understand all that God gives us, you know. That our very existence, our very awareness is a duplication or fractal of, of the existence and awareness of God, okay? So, so the fact that we perceive what we perceive, this comes from God. Everything comes from God, all right? So we have a lot to be grateful for. And why would God do this if God did not love us, you know? It just doesn't make sense, but I don't know how people get stuck in that. And so, um, let's see, 16. Okay. So... And the next sentence is good, too. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. So, so concentrating on the heart chakra, concentrating on love, will bring us near to God, and God near to us. Okay? So, and you'll see why in a minute. This is very important. The next verse. Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Hmm, let's see. Now, this verse speaks of the day of judgment. The day of judgment is now, actually. And so, uh, it, but it's taking place in like an expanded timeline so that everybody can be ready and can pass the test if they want to. Okay, so, and, and these timelines uh, actually are, depend on each person. So, so people are rising in flocks, you know, are ascending in awareness in flocks, and, uh, and, it, and, and also individually, the, the, the timelines shift around like you wouldn't believe, you know. People merge with other people on a particular timeline, and then, and, and sometimes they ex they need more time to just to, to to clear the darkness and to get into the light and to the love, and so they go through like a slow curve of time uh, where they can experience all kinds of hatred and fear and all kinds of things like that, and then come back out of that into love again into into a space synchronously with other people who have gone zip like that through that particular snag. You see what I mean? So so this is the last judgment, but really it's it's the time of of of, of clearing and, and becoming love. Uh, and everybody has a chance and a possibility of doing that. So here he says, Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. So Boldness in the day of judgment, all right. Those who are feeling love or positive emotions like love, appreciation, gratitude, joy, peacefulness, those kinds of feelings. Um, in other words, they are confident during this time of judgment. They're confident enough to get through it fast without, without too much trouble, without you know the wailing and gnashing of teeth thing. <laughs> So, so on to the next verse. There is no fear in love, 
but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. All right, so this is very important. The people that are on the longer snaggy timelines, the, the slow loop into the kingdom of God, these people are feeling fear. So it's about emotions, okay? It's not about intellect or belief. The last judgment has to do with perfection of the emotion of love, the feeling of love, okay? And if you choose fear, because this is a free will planet, if you choose fear instead of love, then fear hath torment. And that is the torment of hell that is spoken of for the last days and the days of judgment. There are those that take the slow bus, or the slow boat, to the kingdom of God, and there are those that go patroom right through and into the light and the love. They're just ready. They make that decision. Um, yeah, I know this is not like standard, but this is the way I feel it to be, you know. Uh, and you may disagree. Um, so, but there's just no point in judging other people because time and time again, Christ speaks of judgment as being not the thing to do, but forgiveness is the thing to do, right? So, so this is a way to avoid judging other people, is to think in terms of these timelines. It's just one way. Um, so, let me see. 19. We love him because he first loved us, speaking of God. And this is all about love, these last few. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God, whom he hath not seen? Okay, so in a nutshell, we need to love everyone. We need to love everyone. All right, so um, here the physical and mental awareness are expanding into the emotional body, the, uh, the astral plane right now, and people are rising into that awareness in flocks, right? And the first thing that happens is we start ricocheting against other people's beliefs and, and negative feelings, okay? And... and and regrouping and like glomming to other people and um, and becoming more and more aware of whatever is not love in our own emotional bodies. Okay, it's very easy during this process to to start feeling negative about other people because in our minds and maybe with our astral vision, we are hearing and and seeing and feeling other people all the time, all right? So um, so it's very easy for the emotions to get snagged on this notion of blaming other people for the clearing process that's, that's occurring. And, and it's just not uh, helpful at all to do that. It's very unhelpful to do that. What we have to do is keep turning to love aligning with God and turning to love during this process. And, and that will shorten our own journey, uh, our perception of our journey. Because truth to tell, the kingdom of God has already arrived and is already here. And it only takes our uh, clearing of our own hearts for us to, to, to understand that that is true, however long it takes. Okay? Huh. Good tidings, right? And the last verse I have uh, in this series is, it goes like this, And this commandment have we from him, that's God, that he who loveth God love his brother also. So just a uh, reaffirmation, a reaffirmation that the way to get through the astral tangles right now is to continue to feel love no matter what. Don't attached to any uh, mental scenario that's going on. Don't, don't uh, shade yourself light and the other people in the story dark. Don't even assume that any, anything is happening, but that the great light and love of God is becoming manifest to all humankind. So, y'all take care. Love you lots.